so let's say you have two bonds bond a and b what we say is higher coupon implies lower interest rate risk so when you have lower interest rate risk that means you have lower duration okay so a bond having a higher coupon will have lower interest rate risk this implies it will have lower duration why a bond having a higher coupon will have lower interest rate risk so let's say there are two bonds one is 10 percent coupon another is five percent coupon okay so if somebody asks like let's say the maturity is for both of them five years so maturity is both of them five years the coupon of this is lower this is higher okay so if somebody asks you for this type of structure which bond will have higher duration the answer should be b but why lower coupon means higher interest rate risk okay because what happens is if the bond has lower coupon so consider over here a and b okay so if you see a is giving a coupon of 10 10 10 10 10 plus 100 b is giving a coupon of 5 5 5 5 5, 5 plus 100 what happens is when you are paying this type of coupon over here what is happening is let's say this coupon as a percentage of total cash flow is how much so you have 5 what is the total cash flow total cash flow is 125 the coupon 5 is how much only 4 percent as a total cash flow so you are getting a very little money in form of coupon in form of coupon you are getting a very little money whereas if you see this guy this is 10 divided by how much 150 which is roughly 6.6 percent so what we say is for this bond you are getting cash earlier so what is happening is your cash you are getting earlier six percent of the total cash that you have to receive you are getting earlier here only four percent of the cash you are receiving is earlier so what is happening is lots of stuff okay so lots of cash is getting tied up for later periods and this cash which is tying up will fluctuate with the interest rate fluctuation okay so you have lot of cash tied up for interest rate fluctuation however here as a percentage less cash is tied up or you can say that you have over here less cash is exposed to so you have less cash is exposed to interest rate risk okay here you have more cash exposed to interest rate risk so when you have less cash exposed that means risk is lower as a result duration would be lower so please note that a lower coupon implies higher interest rate risk here we said the higher coupon implies lower interest rate risk i am going the reverse way lower coupon implies higher interest rate risk it implies higher duration okay so if you consider a zero coupon bond for a given maturity zero coupon bond will have highest interest rate risk because if the coupon cannot be less than zero so that for a given maturity the zero coupon bond will have highest interest rate risk